welcome everyone um, today I'm going to be presenting you on a video about um, some Palo Alto NVAs um, in action and I'm going to be simulating um, the failover from one node to another and see how the Palo Alto's um, HA behaves and um, how's like what's the downtime like and is that flipping over automatically and etc so to start with I'm going to be giving you a background about like what have I've got in the background um, so what you see in the screen is the architecture that uh, I've got in the lab currently set up. Uh, so basically I have a web server which is uh, running Apache and um, what I'm going to be doing is basically I'm, I'm going to be continuously pinging outbound from this web server. So basically all the traffic will go hit the slow balancer and then it will uh, it will hit one of these Palo Altos and it will go out um, into the internet um, in the outbound. So I'm going to be continuously pinging out while I terminate one of the NVAs which is currently inactive and then gonna see how it behaves uh, for the workload itself uh, how much of a downtime that we need to um, anticipate uh, uh, once uh, before this um, active, uh, active workload is going to be transitioned to the other one. So um, for for the management purposes, um, I've got the management server which I'm going to be RDPing in, and then I'm going to be monitoring all these how it behaves while I explain you that. So that's what I'm going to do now, and what I'm going to be showing you, I'll I'll explain you while I'm in there, and then let's get let's get things started. So here we are uh, logged into my management server where I have I can access my both of my firewalls uh, the two Palo Altos that I was showing you so they have they're working as active active at the moment so uh, whenever I have like even inbound or outbound um, it's going to hit one of those servers and uh, that request is going to be served by one of those Palo Altos um, so it's it's distributed by the load balance and uh, it depends on which one it gets right so uh, like you can see all the logs well how it's behaving right now so if you go to the monitor and then it will refresh all the logs and see you can see like it's it's most of these are like the probing for the load balancers that it's serving and uh, nothing more than that like i don't have any workload running at the moment actively so therefore i don't have much traffic logging in in the moment so um in here i have ssh into the um, into the web server that I've got and um, so wh what, I've, what I'm going to be doing is like continuously doing a ping so I'm going to be doing a TCP ping using the nping application uh, in, in Linux so I've got the command already and uh, um, so I'm going to be uh, what I'm going to be doing is running that command so I'm going to be const constantly pinging microsoft.com on the TCP and uh, I'm going to be doing yeah, TCP 443 outbound and then I'm going to be doing hundred, uh, thousands of pings. And as you can see now if you go into one of these firewalls you will see uh, which one is it, which one it's serving the request. Um, yeah, you can see this one here it's doing a TCP 443. Uh, this one is not, uh, yeah, this one is not doing any tcp 443s at the moment so this one is the one that's doing it there. so that's a firewall one that's actually doing the work uh, actively for these ping requests so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to go to the portal and oh i'm going to be doing a device restart here so if you go and reboot this device then it should ideally um, seamlessly transition this request out to the other server so that um, we don't have an impact for the workload side of things. So let's see how it behaves. So it's still going on constantly and then see where it gets stuck and then um, and then see how it behaves on the on the workload side. It's going to be interesting because I want to see what's the impact like. So um, seems like it's done transition already, which we didn't even see how we didn't even notice a downtime right there we go it's it's transition already to this one or so to the second firewall while this restarts which is pretty good if you notice we didn't even see a downtime uh, on the workload side of things and it is pretty good like unless you have like a full-on download that is going that has a stable connection to outbound which your connection is going to break when once it fails over 
um, unless the unless like if you have like constant new sessions opening up and uh, closing, then it's it has no noticeable outage while the workload is going to be uh, fared over to the other node, which is pretty good. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you. So the Palo Alto HA is important. Like if if one of the services is go, is gone down or for some reason like or for patching side of things or uh, from the Microsoft infrastructure side of things, if you want to do any maintenance, then it's easy to it's easily you can uh, get one of the servers down and then easily do the maintenance task and then bring it up again and then do the other one without having any major impact to your workloads. That's pretty good and yeah thanks thanks for watching this video that's what I want to show you and we'll catch up on another video uh, later on. Thank you very much.